In this video, we will walk you through the steps of a closed basket weave ankle tape. Taping is used to reduce excessive range of motion without affecting the athlete's dynamic balance. There is also a biofeedback aspect to the taping, which helps the athlete feel more supported when performing activity. Ankle taping increases stability, but should always be used in conjunction with a rehab strengthening program. It is best to tape directly to the skin and not use pre-wrap. However, when using pre-wrap, be sure not to overlap applying one thin layer. It is always necessary to use heel and lace pads regardless if pre-wrap is used. They help to reduce friction of the tape on the skin and prevent blisters while playing. Apply heel and lace pads to the anterior and posterior aspects of the ankle joint. Lay pre-wrap continuously from base of the fifth metatarsal to the calf where the gastroc muscle tapers off. Make sure to cover all exposed skin. Start with two high anchors by laying down two strips of tape starting at the top of your pre-wrap. These strips should wrap completely around the lower leg in a cylindrical manner. The second strip should overlap the first by 50% of the width of the tape. For the lower anchor, find the base of the fifth metatarsal at the foot and begin directly over the area, wrapping through the arch of the foot and then over the top. To begin your stirrup, start on the medial side of the lower leg and lay down the tape along the line of the tibia, traveling down and around the bottom of the foot, and finishing on the opposite side of the lower leg at the top of the tape job. For the horseshoe, start on the medial side of the foot, anchor this strip to your bottom anchor, and wrap the tape around the back of the ankle across the Achilles, finishing on the lateral side of the foot at the anchor strip. Repeat your stirrup slash horseshoe alternating strips twice more, making sure to overlap the horseshoes by 50% moving up the ankle. For the heel lock, start on the medial side by laying the tape at a 45 degree angle to the heel. Lay the tape across the top of the ankle joint and bring it around the back of the ankle crossing the Achilles. Hook the heel and come back up around the lateral side of the foot, ending on the medial malleolus. These strips will be the supports for inversion and eversion of the ankle. On the lateral side, lay the tape at a 45 degree angle to the heel. Continue to lay the tape across the top of the ankle joint and bring it around the back of the ankle crossing the Achilles. Hook the heel and come back up and around the medial side of the foot, ending on the lateral malleolus. Repeat the heel locks on both sides one more time. Again, starting on the medial side of the foot, start your figure eight just in front of the medial malleolus perpendicular to the arch of the foot. Lay the tape across the arch of the foot and around the top of the foot. To complete the figure eight, continue around the back of the ankle across the Achilles and ending the tape where you started. Repeat this process again, starting on the lateral side. At this point, you've completed the supportive portion of the ankle tape job. To close, repeat your bottom anchors first. Then make cylindrical strips moving up the leg starting just above the malleoli and finishing at the top edge of the tape job. These closing strips prevent any edges from unraveling and make the tape look neat. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps in your future taping endeavors.